class of 2020, congratulations. You are here, you have arrived. Four years of college has led you to today. Or maybe it took you five years, no shame there. I took the victory lap myself. Graduation is gonna feel very strange for you. And honestly, you deserve more than this. You have earned a proper ceremony, a celebration with your friends and family for what you have achieved. But unfortunately, that is not what you will get. Part of me feels bad for you, but another part of me envies the adversity that you will experience from day one in the real world. We are in the midst of a global pandemic with national and international stay-at-home orders, yet I put on a shirt and tie for you today. So I have two pieces of advice that I'd like to pass along to you. Take it as you will. Number one, eliminate the pressure of landing that dream job. The reality is, it's probably not gonna happen right away. I know you wanna impress your friends and family by landing that job on Wall Street, but honestly, if that's not what you wanna do, don't do it. If you wanna travel the world, or backpack through Europe, or join the Peace Corps, or teach English to kids in Costa Rica, do it. It's not about impressing your parents, it's not about impressing your friends and family, or being able to post a new LinkedIn picture. It's about being passionate about something, finding your purpose, and living your truth. In that, you will find success. And number two, be yourself. There's a reason why be you is a part of one of the most powerful words in the English language. Beautiful. Be you. There's so much pressure these days to not color outside the lines, to follow the herd, to look a certain way, to act a certain way, to be a certain way, to wear your hair a certain way. But at the end of the day, it's what I tell my kids. Be yourself and be happy. So cheers to you, class of 2020. It's a different playing field now. Game on.